Cyberpunk 2077 has released a new patch, patch 1.1. This is a um, one of their substantive patches that's on their milestone. So here, here's the thing. Um, the patch, uh, so this is definitely good that they were transparent about when they're going to be releasing these patches and what they're going to be fixing. So uh, let's just kind of do a quick rundown and then I can talk about the fact that this patch did introduce a game-breaking bug. Um, uh, so let's look at this. Holy that is really unfortunate that the patch that they released also breaks the game. I know. So stability, they improve memory usage, fix some crashes. Uh, so they fix a lot of quest issues. These are all quest, fix quest fixes here. Uh, a lot of them seem to be... Delamain, which is like, he's the AI that controls a taxi cab company. Um, fix an issue where Takamura wouldn't call down into... So, from what I know, this was one of the game-breaking bugs with Takamura. I haven't um, played the game. Yeah, yeah, okay, you haven't played it. Well, I won't, I won't mention any plot things. Uh, UI, um, fix an issue where prompt uh, for exiting, brain dance could be missing... Yes, I got stuck in a couple of brain dances, so I'm glad they fixed this. Uh, removed invalid items. Visual fixed issue or grenades trajectory. Okay. Uh, achievements. So, yeah, th this is a good breakdown here. Um, I'm probably going to boot up the game just to... Because I, I already beat it. And I... For which system did you get it? Uh, PS4. I pre-ordered a long time ago. And I just said, screw it. I'm going to try to get through it. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed the story, but the bugs were comical. <laughs> the bugs were comical. Um, and infuriating at times because the game crashed on me about five times. So, But luckily, my save data didn't corrupt, so I was able to continue. So, Thank you. <clears throat> um, so I will say this. The game was released in such a poor state. It cannot be exaggerated how poor of a state the game was released in. Um, the fact that bug fixes uh, initiate... Um, oh, uh, uh, so uh, sexual healing on Twitch, which is my friend. He says, uh, talk about doing it with Keanu. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they removed the ability to have sex with Keanu Reeves in the game. Um, I don't know if it was to have sex with him or as him. Um, but, but they removed it. So, I don't know why they removed that. Um, that seems like a key feature. It Isn't does. It, it does. Um, now, I did go to a... a I, I'm sorry. I'm... I feel very guilt-ridden about this. I did go to a uh, a brothel in the game just to see what it was like, and uh, it was just I mean, to I, see what it was like. Yeah, it, it wasn't says every person ever. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> by the way, you could do that in Witcher Three, right? I never played Witcher Three. Okay, I think you could. And then, of course, they had strip clubs in GTA Five. Anyways. It was, it was like a two minute clip. It was just, it was nothing. Like I, I did it once and then I was like, okay, I'm never going to do this again. It, it just, it didn't bring anything to the game for me, but I could see like a little kid being like, oh my God, this is insane. Right. What? Having sex with Keanu Reeves? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, first I did all, not get to. First of all, I'm going to cut you off there. Okay. This is a mature title, so a little kid shouldn't be playing it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. But if his parents save their credit card information to his uh, system, he might be able to get away with it. Um, <laughs> anyways, I did not have relations with Keanu Reeves. I just want to say that. Uh, yeah. I never got to, and now I feel cheated. I feel cheated that I couldn't have relations with Keanu Reeves. Um, but... I'm just imagining that it's like two minutes or so of him going, whoa, whoa. 
<laughs> his care. I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything. You have to see his character in the game. It's. I mean, they showed him in trailers. He looks pretty cool. Yeah, he's a very angry man. I'll just say oh, that. Fair, he's a very okay. angry man. Gotcha. Um. So yeah, that's it with Cyberpunk. Uh, we're gonna. So they they released the main patch 1.1. Then they released the hot patch or a quick fix to remove Keanu from sex scenes. I don't maybe he got upset maybe his uh his agent was like we don't want him in these uh you know memes all over the internet I don't know well I'm waiting until <laughs> we get the full fixed game in whatever yeah. future that happens yeah um, like I I have the I have the collector's edition of the game and I still have yet to put it in because I was just like nah I can wait yes um I have the I have the day one edition which is pretty nice i mean it comes with a map and some you know stickers and stuff like that but i'm waiting look i hate that game companies are just putting out more and more unfinished games because it's like you buy we're physical collectors those game discs are trash they're worth nothing <laughs> because it doesn't have a working game on it we can't 10 years from now when there's a new playstation we can't plug that into an old PS4 and play the game. It's going to crash. It's going to break. So it's almost like you have to buy. They're forcing you to buy the game. Like they're going to come out with an ultimate edition in, in five years. And you're going to have to buy that for your collection because the original just won't work anymore. You know, it's that's so frustrating. Why, that's why there's an argument to be made that game companies should look at the early access route mm -hmm. and Kind of like uh, kind of like what happened with Hades. Granted, it doesn't have a physical version yet, but it came out early access well before the full release occurred, and they were yes. able to fix things, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, limited run. I'm looking at you. Please make a Hades physical edition. I will they buy will, that in a they second. Will, and, they, and, and, and they'll do it right. I yes. mean, every time they've done something like that, they always include all the patch notes yes. so that you don't have to download any patches after getting the physical, the full physical yeah. copy. So you have everything right then and there. They did that with Celeste. They did that with uh, Panzer Dragoon most recently. Mm -hmm. So no, they're great. Yeah. So yeah, look. We're, we're not supported by them in, in any way, by the way. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's just free publicity. We just love them. We, yeah. We just love them. I mean, I ordered... I. I just ordered um, King of Fighters 2000 uh, Collector's Edition on PS4. So Nice. I just yeah. ordered uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World, the Collector's Edition. I know, which is an insane Collector's Edition. Yeah. 